Epic now out here. Arsenal Park. Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Red State. Right by the state capitol. Doing some reading and getting back to nature. Wavelengths determine dimensions. All right, what you talking about? Wavelengths, dimensions. <laughs> That's my sheeple voice. <laughs> but uh, all jokes aside, though, wavelengths determine dimensions. So if you're a being that's on the third dimension and you're trying to get to the fourth or fifth dimension you would have to vibrate or be on the same vibrational frequency as those higher dimensions to get there so if i'm trying to get to the fifth dimension or i'm trying to get to jupiter or saturn i have to vibrate on the same frequency as those places i'm trying to get to are those dimensions you know so say for instance uh how unconditional love for example unconditional love is a high vibration you know so it, it, it vibrates at a at a matter of fact i'm gonna try to hold the camera it vibrates you know very quickly you know what i'm saying at a at a high frequency a high frequency of changes in the wavelength compared to something that's negative that is you know slow and stagnant you know but basically you know like matter of fact negative negative energy or negative things move you know with a slower wavelength it has a different wavelength and it and, it, and it's things that vibrate slow compared to something that's on the unconditional love frequency that vibrate high that's why in essence when they say like you know positive things you know be positive it can't you know the negative can't get to you i mean the, it is true to that to where you know when you're on that high vibrational frequency i mean you know it's just very, very, very hard to, to for the negative to get to you. As a matter of fact, because I'm starting to tell that the positive energy and unconditional love energy, that's what everything is made up of, and that's what been around. You know what I'm saying? So it's easier to, you know, fight negative energy. Negative energy just started coming around not too long ago. You know, it ain't been around like unconditional love. But, you know, you got to match the vibrational frequencies and wavelengths. So say, for instance, uh... If I was trying to talk to Toth, uh, you know, Toth, who uh, wrote the Emerald Tablets, if I'm trying to talk to him through meditation and telepathy, I would try to match that wavelength or that frequency, you know what I'm saying, through, intu in through intuitive powers, you know, through intuition, kind of like just, you know, feeling, you know, just going with my heart to try to match that vibration or through actually knowing, you know, if you you know, have the knowledge to actually know what vibrational frequency that is. But it's all about, you know, matching the wavelengths, you know what I'm saying? Because if I sit down and meditate and I match the wavelength of being in heaven, guess what? I'm going to start, you know, feeling in being in heaven because I'm matching that wavelength and I'm going to that dimension. So it's all about, you know, matching, matching the wavelengths, you know, at at different wavelengths. As a matter of fact, this is also how like vibrations and wavelengths and also it also rolls into music or vice versa. Like they're both like the same type of thing. That's why different tones resonate with different chakras and things of that nature or why music make you so happy or you know, it's the vibrations, you know. Matter of fact, like example of like octaves, like picturing octaves as dimensions, like the octaves on the piano and the overtones, that's the 12 overtones in between each octave or like the the transitional dimensions, you know, in between, you know, the different dimensions, which are the octaves. So like if, if the third dimension is one octave and the fourth dimension is the other octave, then you would have to, you know, vibrate on the in between the, the the overtones the 12 overtones in between to be able to you know connect and get to that next vibrational frequency or that next dimension you know same thing with music you know that vibration and matter of fact you know this is not crazy stuff i mean when you press the piano and you see how the string gives off a vibration there's a different vibrations you know and frequencies you know different wavelengths all the same thing music all that spiritual science, metaphysical, uh, where you get your sacred geometry signs from, you know what I'm saying? That's all how, you know, how uh, vibration and frequency resonate with matter. But 
just remember your wavelengths determine your dimension so if you're ever trying to do any interdimensional traveling or anything some astral projection uh, you know anything I'm laughing but anything of that nature you know if you if you know the vibrational frequency to to match you know to get where you're going then man that's that's real important and that's what you're trying to do you know you're trying to get on the same wavelength as you know as the dimension you're trying to be on say I'm Rasta man, you know, man, a unconditional love frequency and vibration, you know, so that's the vibration, man, I resonate with, you know, <laughs> you know, but yes, I'm, I'm un unconditional love vibrational frequency, so that's my wavelength. So when you come around me talking about people and, you know, not bigging up, you know, not being positive and uh, trying to test somebody else down. Either I'm going to ignore you or I'm going to just kind of like, eh, uh, like, uh, I don't get into that type of vibration. That's not me. I'm unconditional love vibration. I'm on the wavelength of source. God, unconditional love. But I digress. <laughs> Happy now. Y'all stay in the moment, make sure y'all just study the connections in between wavelengths, vibrations, different dimensions, you know what I'm saying? That's all all the same thing. It just some people try to make it seem different and hard just so you won't catch it. But it's a different thing, different thing. Happy now though, stay in the moment, you know what I'm saying? Liberate yourself from the past and create your future right now in the moment. Peace.